Thank you for choosing to join Res Diary and completing the sign up process. Before we start building your new diary, we need some basic information about your venue. We have sent you a link to our setup document by email. This email will have the subject Welcome to Res Diary and outlines each step in setting up your diary. The setup document, training films, one-on-one -on -one Q and A with a member of our training team, how to add your booking button to your website and social media, and an introduction to our support services. When you're ready, click the link to start building your diary. Bear in mind, it will take about 45 minutes to complete. At any point, you can leave the setup document. Just make sure to save with the Save Progress button before closing the document. You can return at any time using the link in your email. The information given in the document will be stored securely as part of your unique diary. Let's get started. The document has eight tabs across the top. At the bottom, there is a button to save progress, submit account and navigate forward and back. The restaurant and user details tab is for the personal details of the primary contact for Res Diary, most likely the general manager of the venue, and the main details of the venue, its name, address, and contact details. You also have the option to add a table plan image. The maximum file size for this is 500 kilobytes. This will help our team build your table plan view. Complete each field and save your progress before moving on to the next section. Res Diary uses areas to split up your venue, as it is likely you book your main restaurant differently to your bar, function suites, or terrace. In the top left, there is an Add Area button. Click here to add your first area. In the pop-up, name your area and choose whether it will accept online bookings allow emails to be sent to customers, and whether this area is included in your maximum covers. Once you're happy, click Save. You'll need to repeat this process for each area in your venue. You will likely break up your days into different services. Res Diary does this too. Click the Add Service button in the top left to open the pop-up. Here there are two tabs. In the Service Details tab, enter the basic information about this service. In this example, the venue offers a brunch service on Saturdays and Sundays. Adjusting your operating times for different days of the week will be done when you finalize your diary with the training team. So at this stage, make sure to add the earliest opening and the latest closing times for each service. Select a type from breakfast, brunch, lunch and dinner, when it is available and at what time you'll take the last order. Res Diary uses intervals to split up each service. You can choose to accept bookings every 15 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour. Finally, there is an option for max per interval. This decides a key part of Res Diary's yield management feature. This will cap the number of bookings or covers your diary will take for each interval. Yield management will help you avoid overbooking your venue at peak times, instead encouraging customers to spread bookings evenly throughout service. Set your caps for bookings or covers. Be realistic in how many you can take per interval. The Average Table Times tab lets you set how much time you give your customers at the table based on the number of covers, with larger tables generally getting more time. Once complete, you can save and repeat this process for each of your services. In the Tables tab, you will add each of the tables in your venue. You will need to add each table individually with the Add Table button on the left. In the pop-up, give the table a number or name which area it is in, the number of covers it can take, and the shape of the table. Use the Save and Next button to add the next table without closing the pop-up. 
Once you have added all the tables, click Save and Finish, and you can move on. In the Joins tab, you'll be able to set which tables you're able to join together to accommodate larger groups. We recommend that you add as many of the joins you commonly use as possible, regardless of any cover size cap you have in place for online booking. In this example, the venue has four two tops, which can be joined in a variety of ways to make a single table with a maximum capacity of 12. It's best to take some time and think about all the different ways that you can join tables and make some notes of these joins before beginning this section. To add a join, click the Add Join button in the top left. In the Tables section, type the table numbers separated by a comma. And in the Capacity section, add the maximum capacity for the new table. For some joins, this number may be higher than the combined capacity, as you may be able to add additional chairs. Click the Save and Next button to continue adding joins and once you have finished, click Save and Finish. The Further Details tab is for additional information about your venue. This will appear on your ResDiary.com profile and customer communications. First, you'll be able to add a logo for your restaurant. We recommend uploading a file that is 320 by 300 pixels and no more than 500 kilobytes in size. You can then add a description of your restaurant. No more than 2,000 characters, this text needs to be search engine optimized to help your listings appear at the top of search. Information on your opening and closing times. A link to your website is required, as well as at least one social network. Your venue's dress code, cuisine type, price point, and any facilities you can offer. You can also upload a PDF version of your menu, no more than 500 megabytes in size. Once happy with this, you can save and move on. The notification branding lets you set the look of your booking confirmation emails. On the left are the settings you can customize and on the right, a preview of the final message. First, you can select a banner image. We recommend files 600 by 300 pixels and no more than 500 kilobytes. Click the Choose File button to select an image from your computer and click the Upload button. Next, set the text and background colors for the header and footer. Clicking on the hex code brings up a color picker interface. Choose the color from the ring and the tone from the square. Alternatively, if you know the hex code for the desired color, type it in. In the Notification Body section, the Title Text Color sets the color of the section headings. The Content Text Color sets the color of the main body text. The Background Color sets the color of the background. The Padding Color sets the color of the padding between the header and the body. And finally, the text link color sets the color for links. Once you are happy with the look of your notification, you can click the Save Progress button. Finally, in the Terms and Conditions tab, there are two input boxes for your Terms and Conditions and Privacy Policy. If you have these in place, paste them into the box. If needed, we can supply you with some sample text during the training Q&A session for you to customize to your needs. Once all the tabs have a green tick and you are sure you have added all the information required, you can click Submit Account. You will be notified that it will take a number of days for the diary to be built and that you will not be able to make any further changes to this document. If there are any changes to be made, you can do this during your training Q&A session. Click OK and you will be finished with the setup document. You'll be contacted by the training team once your diary has been built. There are a range of support films covering Res Diary features on our YouTube channel, so subscribe to stay up to date. 
To prepare for your training Q&A session, watch the suite of training films. Thank you for watching and welcome to Res Diary.